Hello, you are watching the Philippines, a foreigner's way of life. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to use and how to set up submersible pumps. Our choice is the Makita. We have a 400 watt, it's a one half horsepower submersible pump that we've been using. It's the first one that I bought. We're going to compare it to a one and one half horsepower, which is 1100 watts because we found out that we, can, we need a little bit more pressure we need a little bit more water flow to do what we need water in the garden water in the chickens all right i think titus is going to help us just a little bit yes yes all right so um we're going to demonstrate both of them the pump comes pretty much ready to use it has attachments that very easy it depends on what you we we chose to use a water hose um we chose a three-quarter inch water hose the attachments come in it's really easy to just to to put them on this is the this is the first one this is the one half horsepower i've already taken this out and i've already put into the well which you'll see later on in the videos the the one and one half horsepower okay but it's just a matter of, of adding the attachments i had to buy two attachments two fittings here in the philippines so that i can make the hose fit okay but it's really easy you you can you can whatever you want to do uh, flexible hoses collapsible hoses it's up to you really easy all you got to do is take it lower it into the the water source which by the way these are very good for wells they're very good for swimming pools to empty swimming pools spas hot tubs all right if your basement gets flooded very good you get you got about this much depth that it will suck water out for you we again we chose makita because here in the philippines it's, it's obviously it's a good brand has a good warranty and both units comes with an automatic cutoff this as it gets lower whatever you set it at it will cut off the water if the water gets too low you can attach it very easy um, these are made for dirty water it says that uh, it's um, now this says it's 240 liters a minute but that ain't gonna happen uh, this the half horsepower is about six liters ain't that right Rachel about six liters a minute so I suspect that that this new one the one and one half horsepower will be double if not a little bit more okay uh, this is also good for pushing water up to 10 meters has to do with gravity all right now this was a 240 volt um, of course obviously again we're in the philippines but again it's good for dirty water clean water um, i think that the the filaments the little stuff that's floating in the water is good up to about a, about an inch and it will still take it and push it up the water hose so let's just see what happens okay i'm really excited actually again i really wish i'd have saw a video like this before i bought my first one okay i'm not telling you to buy the bigger one because you may not need it you may not need the flow um this one and one half horsepower is about thirty dollars more than a one half horsepower okay but for me it was worth it. It, it we need it you may not need it both are great but i'm going to demonstrate both of them for you so just hang on we we're, we'll put the video splice it together we're going to demonstrate the water flow and then we're going to speed up the camera so you don't have to take so long to watch the video so i hope you enjoy it all right so just hang on a minute This is a three-quarter inch hose, um, and again, this is the one-half horsepower. We're at zero. 
and the barrel is empty, so we will start it. We will stop the timer as soon as the first water starts to come out of the garbage can. Five minutes and 14 seconds. I've done this, I don't know, five or six times just to kind of test it. And it's almost roughly come out to be five minutes for 30 liters. That's about six liters a minute. And then we'll compare that to the one and one half, one and one half horsepower pump next. So this is a 30 gallon or 30 liter garbage can. It took five minutes, which is approximately six liters per minute. I want to show y'all our well so you get an idea of just how deep it is. It's not too terribly deep actually. And Rachel's going to shine a flashlight so you can kind of get an idea. Let me see. Adjust the contrast just a little bit. But we have it, we have the pump tied off right here. Keeps it stable. You don't ever want to use the cord the power cord to lift it or lower it okay you need to use a rope or something like this all right it's not recommended now right here I have a twist tie when I'm gonna lift this out and we're going to measure this is actually the the point where the water has to come up to so we're going to measure how deep this is at what depth we have the pump at We used a water hose. You can use any type of hose, but it was more convenient for us to do this. This is what is used for um, the automatic cutoff if the water was to get too low. Yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to measure the hose. That way you get an idea of how far or how deep the pump was. All right, we're going to measure just to give you an idea We were right at about, now if you can see this, 13 feet. That's pretty good. All right, it's so about 13 feet. Um, as most of you know, if you've done any research, the gravity has a whole lot to do with these pumps. 
further up you have to go to pump the water, the less pressure. All right, so I'm gonna make this attachment. And put it on. Just hand tight is all it needs to be. Then I'm going to attach my water hose. I can always untwist. This was already attached to the half horsepower, so I'm not going to bother taking it off. I actually am. I'm pretty easy. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to screw this on. Again, just going to hand tie it. You can get a half inch water hose or you can get a three quarter inch. This is a three quarter inch water hose. The fitting on the end is the same. It doesn't matter if you get a half inch or a three quarter inch. Just hand tight. Now I've already, you'll see in the video already that um, I've got this attached to a board that goes across our well and this is just simply to raise it and lower it that's all it's for nothing fancy all right what I'm doing now is I've, I'm attaching this rope you can see in the video where I've attached it to a board that goes across the well this is what I use to lower it and to raise it Again, do not use your cord to raise it and lower it. All right, just not good. So I'm going to lower it down, and we're going to turn it on. And we're going to test it and just see how much more powerful it is than a half horsepower. Again, I'm excited about this. Alright, now when I get done, I'll, I'll tie this off and secure it um, where I want it. You don't want to kink your water hose, of course. I'm going to plug this in and we're just going to see how powerful it is. And like I said, I, I'm excited. You have a ground that you can ground it to. Okay, I plugged it in. I don't see how much more power it is. Definitely more power, huh? Very good. Alright, what we're gonna do now is we're going I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna video how long it takes to fill up this 30 liter 7.9 gallon garbage can. And it took the half horsepower one half horsepower took it five minutes. All right, we're fixing to time how long it takes to fill up this 30 liter, 7.9 gallon garbage can compared to the one half horsepower that took five minutes. We're going to cut it off as soon as the water starts coming over the top. Two minutes and 24 seconds. It took the one 
half horsepower five minutes it took this one and one half horsepower two minutes and 24 seconds okay it took two minutes and 24 seconds just let's just say two and a half minutes to fill up the 30 liters it took the one half horsepower five minutes so basically this one filled up about 12 liters a minute and really for me that's not bad that's not bad at all it's twice as fast as the one half horsepower the 400 watt this is 1100 watts 1100 watts 1.5 horsepower 12 liters a minute not bad Well, we've just demonstrated how to use and set up a submersible pump really easy, okay? We compared the one half horsepower to the one and one half horsepower. Uh, for those that get into wattage, it's a 400 watt versus a 1100 watt. It, it was a good demonstration. Again, use your safety precautions. Do not grab the cord and lift it up and down. Tie a rope to it. Tie something to it, all right? But we really hope you like it. Um, I, again, I, I really wish I'd have saw a video like this. Bye, Vida. Really? Well, tell everybody, tell everybody goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Low sugar. Ah, very good. Listen, this is the Philippines, a partner's way of life. Make sure you subscribe. Please like. All right, and um, we appreciate it. God bless you.